On this week's boiler tip, we're going to take a look at the high pressure limit on our boiler. So we've looked at the firing rate, the operator, and now the high limit, and this control is what it says it is. While the operator is really our first high limit, this is our actual high limit device, which is redundant in one sense to our operating control. Its job is singly to shut the boiler off if we exceed its set point. And it's got a gauge to set our set point with a screw up top. It has no differential. Because what makes this control separate and different from our operating control is that it is a manual reset. So the differential is your finger. Um, the idea of this control is simply to provide redundancy to our operating control to add a second level of safety on the device because if a boiler goes over pressure and fails structurally due to over pressure, that's about as bad as it gets in a boiler accident. So the importance of this is, is obvious, but where do we want to set that? If we've got our operator set to shut the boiler off at 100 PSI, we obviously want this set higher because if we have to come out and, and manually reset this in order for the boiler to cycle every time, well, that's just not very practical. Um, so we want it higher than the operating control, but we want it lower than the maximum allowable working pressure of the boiler because we want it to shut the boiler down, preferably before we lift the relief valves on the boiler because if they lift, they may or may not reseat and that's a whole nother ball of wax. Um, so how much above the operating pressure control? We certainly want it set enough that in normal routine cycling of the boiler, we're not having to come out and reset the overpressure switch. If we've got big load swings and we have loads that suddenly shut off and that swings the pressure on the boiler, we may want to give it a little more margin. Um, the idea is basically we want it to be something that brings our attention to an issue, not a routine thing. So I do like it set enough higher that I could walk in the boiler room and if the boiler is normally off at 100 PSI, I can clearly see that you know, we're at 115 um, or 110 and that would cue, hey, we need to check our operating control. Also, if we do have to reset our manual reset, we want to check our uh, operating control operation because it may not be a fluke that it tripped. We could have a blockage or an issue with our primary pressure cutoff. So I'm gonna run this pressure up and like on this one, I've got the meter hooked up to the normally open contact. So when this trips, it should give us an audible alarm or will it? As I adjust the pressure upward going to that switch, it's tripped and I can hear the mechanical switch making, but my meter is not indicating that my normally open contact is made. And that's on purpose. While I have this wired as if it would make my multimeter on pressure rise, in fact, the terminal or micro switch on the high pressure limit doesn't actually have a normally open contact. This is a decoy on my demo board for those in training. The high limit only has a common and a normally closed switch in this particular device for a very important reason. It's now impossible to miswire this switch. Because this is a manual reset control, I don't want there to be a situation where the limit is tripped and it's wired such that the burner will run. Because obviously, if it was tripped and wired incorrectly, then it would be a permanently made switch and it wouldn't serve any purpose. So in many cases, the secondary high limit or the high limit switch will have no normally open contact. And that way it just prevents erroneous wiring. Thank <laughs> you.